Welcome to Awesome Code. Please subscribe to my channel. In this video, we will learn how to get access rights and ownership of file in C programming. We will use a stat system call to read the information about the file. Then we are going to show ownership and access rights. We will pull information about the owner and the group of the file and the file mode. To translate the user ID number into a username, we will use a get PWID function to get the group name for a group ID. We will use a get GRGID function. Let's see how they do this. Uh, first, I will import a header. I have already included standard io.h and now I'm going to include sys types.h and include sys stat.h include unistd.h and include error number dot h and then I'm going to include string dot h and include pwd dot h and then going to include include grp dot h We will have a structure stat structure stat and we will name it file stat. Then we are going to have a structure password, user info. This is structure password pointer, user info. And then we are going to have a structure of type group pointer, uh, group info. And then we are going to check the arguments rc not equals to two. We are going to print the usage f print f standard error. usage file and new line the name of program and then we are going to return Now we are going to make a stat system call to get the file stats inside its condition. If stat rp at index one, the file name and the file stat structure 
negative equals to minus 1. Then we are going to print the error message. Cannot read the file. Standard error. Read a file. and print the file name from arg at index 1 and the error message the error number and return error number Now we are going to get user info. If user info is set to calling get PWUID, and here we are going to pass in file stat dot sd UID. And we are going to check it with null. Then we are going to print the error message if we get the null value. So this would be the user info. E error cannot get username. And we will also try to get group info in if condition. So we are going to use if inside if. We are going to set group info by calling get gr gid and pass in file stat dot st gid and we are going to check the return value with null. And if we get the null value, we are going to uh, print the error message and return error number. Uh, I need to return error number here too. And return error number. Over here, we're also going to print the error message. I will just copy that line and change it to cannot get group name. And read on error number. Else we are going to print the file stats and owner and group and file mode. So that will be print off high node. that and the property SDA I know hmm. 
And now I'm going to print the file size. I'm just gonna copy from here. And this will be our size. And this will be also changed to size. And then we are going to print hand links. So the links to the file. And this will be I'm just gonna copy from here. And now print the owner. This will be file stats as the UID and user info pwm name uh, this would be and then we are going to print group info so this would be I will just copy from here this line this will file stat sd gid group id and this will be gr name for the user info and then we are going to print file mode file stat sd mode property Need to fix over here. And need to change this to group info. Oh, S D and link. ID now I'm going to compile with the GCC and my program name I will change the name of my program user group ID dot C 
and the name of the object file user group id and just hit enter and now we are going to first i'm going to use the ls command to list the content of current directory so i can pick a file i will select uh, remove file so this will be our program name user group id and the file name on which we are going to run stat and get the uh, group info and uh, owner info dot c and just hit enter and here is the inode info size links owner is the root and the group is the root and the file mode to keep on learning, please subscribe to my channel, ask same to like my video, keep supporting me and thank you for watching.